Our top story, the humanitarian crisis at the border could be getting worse. That is the warning from the Biden administration with the controversial Title 42 border policy now expiring. This video shot by a drone today over San Isidro just across the border from Tijuana. Tomorrow marking the end of Title 42, which allows the U.S. government to quickly expel migrants. Eyewitness News reporter Anibal Munoz in San Isidro after crossing over the border to learn more about what's happening and what can be expected. For the last three years, Tijuana is where an increasing number of refugees and asylum seekers have been forced to wait as U.S. immigration policies largely halted access to asylum. Thursday, Title 42, a policy promoted as a way to stem the spread of COVID-19, but allowed immigration authorities to largely turn away people seeking asylum, comes to an end. We are clear-eyed about the challenges we are likely to face in the days and weeks ahead, which have the potential to be very difficult. Our plan will deliver results, but it will take time for those results to be fully realized. And it is essential that we all take this into account. The Biden administration is set to implement new border and immigration measures. Some will both speed up the processing of people seeking asylum and deportations. Among the announced measures, absent exceptions, individuals who cross into the U.S. without authorization will be presumed ineligible for asylum and if removed, will face at least a five-year bar. Human rights groups are already gearing up to legally challenge these measures and monitor what will happen on the ground. Our primary concern is that asylum seekers will be turned away at the port of entry in violation of U.S. federal and international law. The administration says it plans to open 100 processing centers in different countries, which would direct people to pathways to enter the U.S., Canada, or Spain and says it will increase access to the CBP-1 app, which has proven to be an insurmountable challenge for the vast majority of those seeking asylum. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.